from steamy lover to legitimate lawyer, you know him best as pretty boy Mike Ross in the hit TV show Suits. I don't want to just fund the clinic for a year. I want to fund it for two. And while we're at it, I want some left over for a little something nice for me and the wife to be. That's all it's going to take. Oh, not even close. I wouldn't have it any other way. Any case I want to bring the clinic onto, I can. Done. Anyone I want to bring over from the clinic, I can. Lewis doesn't get a say. You don't get a say. No Harvard rule. Done. And there's one more thing. Oh, I love this show. Patrick <laughs> Adams joins us now to talk about what's in store for his character when the show returns next month. Patrick, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you so much for having me. I you, appreciate it. Yeah, we're so glad. Yeah. Uh, you also have a really cool initiative that yeah. we're going to talk about. Uh, Super excited to talk about suit. it. Yep. Uh, but I do have to talk about the show sure. because yeah, it's yeah. my very Ask favorite. Anything. Yeah, thank you. Um, so obviously you guys are coming back for season seven. Yep, July 12th we premiere, I think, on Bravo. Mm -hmm. yep. And big reveals at the end of season six last year. Uh, obviously now a legitimate lawyer. Yeah, I'm a real lawyer, and I'm back at the firm. It's sort of like, a, I think, a, a good restart of the show. Harvey yeah. and Mike back together, just being lawyers, trying to do good. It, it's interesting, because the whole premise of the whole show has been based on the fact that you haven't been quite yeah, legit. I've been so. a liar, yeah. yeah. It's fun to, like, reinvent a show. You know, we've been on for seven seasons, which is just unheard of. And uh, we're actually celebrating our 100th episode this year, so uh, which I get to direct. I'm in the middle of directing it right now, as a matter of fact. So it's uh, it's time for the show to do something new, and we're excited to kind of go back to old form. What's that like for you? Because this isn't the first episode you've directed, uh, but it is a it must be a cool experience going from in front of the lens to Yeah, it's incredible. You just get to be more a part of the show. You get to make more decisions, and I like making decisions. So. <laughs> just like in, like in real life, but also on the show? Oh, yeah, I'm bossy. I'm just super bossy. Cool. So now I get to be. They pay me to be bossy. It's good for me. Amazing. Uh, Meghan Markle obviously making headlines mm -hmm. uh, because of her relationship with Prince Harry. But how has that changed? Hadn't uh, heard that. Yeah, no, That's maybe a, once or twice. That is so strange. Yeah. No, I didn't know anything about that. <laughs> how um, has that changed on set for you guys? Do you notice any big difference? Absolutely nothing has changed, in, in all honesty. We're having a great time doing the show. Meghan is the consummate professional, and she's coming to work and killing it. She's better this season than any other season. Um, so we're all just doing the work. And, uh, you know, the thing that Megan has taught me the most about is philanthropy. And that's sort of why I'm involved with what I'm doing now. Uh, she's, you know, given so much of her life to other causes. And she's taught me a lot about the power of using what we've gotten with suits to give back to things. So that's sort of why I dove into this Morse thing. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about it. Yeah. Morse uh, and your project with them. Uh, give us the details. What is it all yeah, about? Yeah, it's called the Canadian Suit Drive. So over the course of July, uh, July 1st to July 31st, we're asking Canadians all over the country to uh, go into their closets, get out the pieces of clothing that they're not wearing anymore, professional attire, things to look good. You know all about that. And uh, take them down to Morse and donate them, and then Moors over the course of the month are going to donate them to 75 different organizations that they work with, where they're teaching people job training and resume building, getting people ready to re-enter the workforce. And the thing that they're missing are the clothes that are going to help them make that transition. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned a lot after being on the show for, for seven years about what a suit does for your confidence um, and how it can really build you up, and it can make the difference between you feeling uh, your best self and ready for work and not ready for that next step. So we're really excited to have this initiative. It's the eighth year running. It's been a huge success, and I couldn't be more excited to be a part of it this year. And it's cool because your character, Mike Ross, kind of goes through that on suits at the very beginning of the show, to, all the yeah. way back to season one, because he's not a guy who wears a suit all the time. Yeah, and that wasn't much acting. That was me. <laughs> I'm an actor. I want to wear jeans and a T-shirt all the time. So right. it was me getting really used to what is, you know, these things, they don't feel exactly right, but they do make you stand up straight. They do put on this sense of confidence that maybe you don't have and they allow you to walk into a room feeling like your best self. So we're really excited to be able to do that for other people across the country. No kidding. You're a Canadian boy from mm -hmm. Toronto. From Toronto. Uh, and now being able to give back to your community. Yeah. How has that changed acting for you? Because uh, now it's not just creative. Like you said, it's philanthropy. Yeah, I mean, it's just exciting in the world of suits. When you're building a TV show, there's not a lot of time to figure out ways that you can. You know, you can give to charities you like or show up to events or walk a red carpet. But to be able to do something that's so in line with what I've been doing for seven years and so a part of what I've learned is... Uh, it's just so easy, and it makes total sense, and it's something that I that I know about, and I'm excited to meet the people that we're going to be putting these suits on and doing whatever I can to to make this small amount of difference that I can. Well, we're happy to share the word this Thank morning. You. So I so appreciate glad it. that you told yeah. us. I can't let you go before uh, you give me a teaser, if you can, about season seven. What can we expect? Oh, uh, what can we expect? Um, honestly, the 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 big uh, pulling force this year is you know. Mike has really decided he wants to do these pro bono cases, but he's back in the firm. So, you know, we're going to have a Mike and Harvey working together, but it's going to start to, uh, they're going to find themselves on the opposite side of a case that, yet again where 
um, they're going to have to sort of choose sides, whether to do what's right or to do what makes the money. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's going to be a good season. Patrick, I don't get to watch a lot of TV because I work morning hours, but I'm about <laughs> to go on mat leave, and I will be binge watching. Thank I'm so excited. Thank you so, so much excited. for watching. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for being here. Great to meet you. Thank you. You too. Yeah.